the final checks and uh, we're all hooked up, ready to go. Dogs are in the truck, wife's in the truck. Yeah, we're gonna go up to Lincoln again, uh, to Country Pumpkins uh, campground up there. It'll be dark by the time we get there, but tomorrow I expect to get up to Franconia Notch and hike the flume. I'm inviting you to come and join me. Good morning. Yeah, I lied last night. I didn't go straight to bed. I sat out and looked at the stars, and it was gorgeous. You could see the Milky Way. You could see all the, the different uh, constellations. It's nice being on a cold, crisp night up in the mountains, away from city lights. You can see all sorts of stars. Yeah, it was nice. So it's morning. Elsa found herself a nice spot in the sunlight. Relaxing. Elsa knows how to relax. Meanwhile, Leia is panicking over everything. Every little leaf that falls, every little bug that flies by, every person that walks by, she's got to alert us. She's the watchdog. I think that's a gypsy moth caterpillar. You are such a good girl. A faithful watchdog. Yes, you are. She's also the snuggler. And I think we're going to take a drive up Route 3 here towards Franconia Notch and see what we see. These are cute little cabins along the roadside here, Route 3. They're actually part of the Indian Head Resort. Looks like a nice little motel. We've got a teepee and a totem pole here. It's kind of cute. It's a little weeny to draw you in. But that's not really why I stopped here. Uh, I stopped here because of this marker. This is a unique marker amongst all the uh, usual roadside attractions. The Betty and Barney Hill incident. On the night of September 19th and 20th, hey, that's uh, getting pretty close here. In 1961, Portsmouth, New Hampshire couple Betty and Barney Hill experienced a close encounter 
with an unidentified flying object and two hours of lost time while driving south on Route 3 near Lincoln. They filled an official Air Force Project Blue Book report of a brightly lit cigar-shaped craft the next day, but were not public with their story until it was leaked in the Boston Traveler in 1965. This was the first widely reported UFO abduction report in the United States. Right here is where it happened, right in this area, on Route 3. Right here, next to the cheapie. And it says they would have been traveling south, so this is the direction they would have been going, down the road that way, towards Lincoln. Yep. Here we are, Franconia Notch State Park on Route 3. I think the flume is just up the road here a little bit. Yep, got my tickets for the flume. It was $21 to get in for one adult. It's a little cheaper for children. I think the cutoff age is 13. Anybody under 13 is a little cheaper. Yeah. Should be a nice walk. It's just the entrance to the trail here. For your safety and to protect the fragile ecology of the flume area, please stay on the trails and walkways. Noticing they've got uh, the plants are labeled here. This is meadow sweet. It's nice that they label these. Lots of ferns along the trail and some goldenrod too. Yeah, glad I took my allergy pill. This one is called hay scented fern. I wonder if that's because it smells like hay. Yep, yep, it smells a little bit like hay. So normally, if you wanna buy tickets here, you have to uh, go to flumegorge.com buy them advance you know reservations type thing I was lucky uh, it's kind of a down day not a lot of people here Highland games going on in Lincoln so everybody's over there so I was able just to walk right in so here's a marker for what's known as American U it's a favorite winter browse of wild deer and moose so here's a bit of history about the area the land you see as you stand here all lies within the township of Lincoln, granted on January 31st, 1764 to James Avery and others, and named after Henry Clinton, the ninth Earl of Lincoln. The original grant contained 32,456 acres, and settlers did not begin to arrive until after the American Revolution. Our first sight along the way is this glacial boulder. And reminds me of Boulder Caves. A little hiding place. I can begin to hear the water. Some flowers to watch out for is beach drops and Indian pipe. This here is a beech tree. Check out this big tree here. Look at it. Right down here. It's got a big hole in it. Now, this is a pretty steep trail going down. And switchbacks here. I don't think Sharon could have done this with her knees. Nope. But she'll see it in the video. This trail's pretty steep. It's it's nice and wide and well groomed, but it is dirt and it's a little slick and it's pretty steep going down to the river here. So what we have here is called the common elderberry not to be confused with the red elderberry which is just down here 
Emma Jawasset River. The bridge was built in 1886. First of many waterfalls, I'm sure. Okay, that's the trail we just came down. We're gonna cross the bridge now. Oh, there's the river. Emma Jawasset River, the stream you see here is an Abernathy Indian word meaning swift. It's on the other side of the bridge. That's a big tree. What is it? It's a sugar maple. Major figure in New England, most famous for springtime celebration. This veteran sugar maple could easily handle three taps. Okay, well, I made it to the Flume House. 1930 was built. It's a section talking about various attractions and state parks. Loose Brook, Crawford Notch, been there. Lake Francis, been there. Shows you all the wildflowers that are up here. Display of the various minerals here. Yeah, it was a little interesting considering I used to teach like, you know, hiking the nature trails in sixth grade. Yeah, that was fun. That, that would be a great place to bring kids to teach them about the area. And now, off to the flume. Well, <coughs> there's a step there. <laughs> yeah fooled me. I didn't realize it steps down off the platform and then back up onto the steps. That's what uphill goes down, has to go back up. And uh, we are going up. This one, this is pretty steep here. Very beautiful though. Very beautiful. Love, I love forested areas. Here we are up into a clearing. Yep, this area is called Table Rock. Probably because it's so flat. cold is the water? Let's see here. Oh, that's cold. That is really, really cold. And that's just the end of summer, too. A little side creek on the other side of the trail. fern moss there. Here's a tree that fell over, kind of a young tree, pulled up its roots, but look, even in death there's life. The moss is growing and taking over the roots of the tree there. Oh, what's that? Cute little flower there. See if I can zoom in on that. Getting up into the uh, gorge here now. That's quite the gorge. The granite rock which makes up the walls of the flume was formed many millions of years ago in an ancient geological time. The later period 
dark colored lava and a molten condition was pushed up from below, showing the great crack and smaller side cracks that had been formed in the granite. This lava solidified to form dikes. As ages passed, the main dike was worn away, leaving the flume gorge. By flying a drone. And here we are on the boardwalk. Lots of stairs ahead of me. Yeah, it's very nice. Um, boardwalks, pretty smooth. Some stairs. But the temperature did go down by a couple of degrees once you got into the gorge. in there right now but I wouldn't be surprised if one likes to go in there and hibernate regularly moving along up some stairs 
upstairs here. I think we've reached the summit. Yep, we're at the summit, 1,600 feet. We're out on the rock. It's pretty smooth here. Rocks are slippery. Yes, they are. The top of Avalanche Falls. Well, that's it. We made it to the top of the gorge, or top of gorge, it says. It's the rain shelter. Yeah, well, that's the Flume Gorge. It was beautiful. Really enjoyed that walk. Uh, well, there's a couple of trails that go back. But I think I'm gonna take the same trail back down. That way I can take some snapshots. Okay, well, that's going to do it for today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed our walk through the gorge. I certainly did. It was beautiful. I loved the, the running water. Very peaceful. Um, very soothing to me. Nice walk through nature. So, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we ask you if you did, click the like button, and maybe consider subscribing to our channel. We sure appreciate all the subscribers who are out there right now. I think we got 466 now. Thank you very much. So until next time, we will see you on the streets.